mentioned in one of your last talks that petroleum wasn't what we thought it was, that it wasn't a fossil fuel, that it didn't come from fossil animals. <laughs> yeah. Is it just a mineral? Is it a mineral like any other mineral? Is that is that how it, is that how it, uh, what would you say? Uh, how did it, what's the origin it, of it? You of see, <clears throat> when they first found petroleum, uh, because they were beginning to make motors and, and, and needed on axles of wheels on railroad trains and all that sort of thing. And remember, trains started in the beginning of the 19th century. Then oil went from a, just a lubricant to a fuel, and it made it valuable. And Rockefeller happened to be the smartest man in the business at the time, but he made a lot of most of his money, or much of it, off the transport of the petroleum as well as selling it. But... <clears throat> One thing they realized was, if you, because oil, uh, oil is, uh, putting a price on oil is like putting a price on a pail of water, you know, the, the, no, no initial cost is in the ground, and, and in those days they were, some of it, almost what you'd call surface mining the oil, they didn't go down deep. So in order to get the price up, they hit on the idea that they would have to make it appear to be scarce, that, they, that boy, after we take the next few barrels out, we're probably going to have to close as well, you know, that kind of thing. A very fortuitous event. In 1892, there was a convention in Geneva of, of scientists to determine what organic substances are. Well, the definition of organic is a substance with hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. And so it's usually a living substance, a tree. You analyze a dead tree, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen and grass and so on, living things, animals, we are, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. So at this Geneva Convention, Rockefeller took advantage of sending some scientists over who said, oil, petroleum, is hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Therefore, it must be derived from the, uh, the spoiling, the rock convention was over, they defined oil as a, the residue from formerly living matter. Well, that makes it a fossil fuel. I don't know why they decided to use the word fossil, but it says formerly living matter is fossil. Well, of course, today, and, and, and another thing we should know is that there has never been a fossil, a, a, a real fossil, found below 16,000 feet. And you can't argue at 16,000 as a level line because someplace the ground sinks and so on, but 16 is what the scientists say, 16,000. We mine oil, or we, we drill for oil, at 30,000, 33,000, 28,000 every day of the week. So right there, we rule it out that it isn't fossil fuel. It's called fossil fuel for the minds of the public to feel that it is a, a, an asset that is running out, being depleted. We talk about depletion allowance, which is a lot of, you know. And actually, if you know the world's oil supply, you know that it is not going to run out for an awfully long time. It is the second most prevalent liquid on Earth. And, and we haven't begun to dig. Well, with all that background, you see, the people in charge of the petroleum business for perfectly reasonable business uh, things, like any other man in the business, wants to keep his price as high as he can get away with. And the way to do is just say, well, there's no more. We, 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 the last barrel is going to cost $1,000, and then it's all done. And, and they preach that stuff. What bothers me is that, that in geology books, it's in there. The geologists say it's a fossil fuel. They, they've somehow they've been bought. I mean, you, I <clears throat> I went to a four-year federal staff energy seminar run by the government of the United States during the so-called energy crisis. I was the participant that represented the railroad industry. The airline industry was there. Every AA administrative assistant of senators and congressmen was there. The CIA was there, the Defense Department was there, the State Department was there. Sometimes sitting right in front of me in the row would be Henry Kissinger.